It's Bourbonite. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And welcome back to day number two of the Flaviar.com 12 Days of Christmas box here. This is Whiskies of the World. Uh, so. I'm really excited. Yeah. I'm super happy to have this present this year. Um, it's been making after Christmas fun also. Right? So I like that. Yeah, 12 Days of Just Christmas. Keep it it's going. a cool thing. We should do this Keep all the, the spirits going. Ha 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 ha. Okay, there we go. Why don't you, yeah. Um, and while you're doing that, just want to uh, tell you guys that Flaviar also has a YouTube channel here. It's, it's youtube.com slash Flaviar. They've got some cool videos over there, so go give them a visit. And while you're over there, just give them a subscribe as well. Okay. But I'm stuck. But Sarah's stuck. Oh, wait. It's good. It's, it's good, good packaging. packing. Yeah. There Ooh. we are. Okay. Today is a whiskey product of the USA. This is a 90 proofer. It oh, look could, at that pretty color. Could be a bourbon, could be, be a, a rye. rye. Who knows? Or just an American whiskey. A taste of home. <laughs> a taste of home. All right. I'm I'm excited. I'm also excited. If you couldn't tell by the look on my face <laughs> when I unwrapped it. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's we do it. This is perfect for sharing. Yeah. Like, you could even share this amongst three people if you really wanted to. Oh, for sure. Um, I mean, look, we've got half a. We've got half the thing. Maybe even thing four. Left. It just depends on how much you want to drink. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. <gasps> oh, it's familiar. <laughs> oh, it's bourbon night. Everyone. We all our feathers just went. <laughs> like, it's bourbon night. It's bourbon night. I'm getting a like a silky boozy type of. Mm. Not so much syrup, but like a floral bouquet, if you will. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, you won't. <laughs> I might. And there is a mm. little bit of char and I get barbecue the char. in there. Yes. It's like a savory note when you take a nice yeah, deep breath. Yeah, pepper and char. I think that pepper is like the barbecue-y kind of thing. Ooh, it tastes chewy, or smells chewy. It might taste chewy. You've been sneaking sips already? Nope. Mm, yeah, I do get a lot of the pepper, but there is a sweetness under there and maybe a little bit of floral. It's like a medium rare steak. You can just kind of smell the, the juice. Mm -hmm. Men and steaks. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like steak too. Don't get me wrong. Uh, All right. I feel like you're having a moment with it and then we need to move fast. I'm having a moment. Before we dive into this, I want to say thank you to Flaviar for sponsoring this video and all of the next 13 days now. Nope, sorry, I'm adding a day, uh, 11 days. I was like, they're, I mean, <laughs> dang, they were generous, but I don't remember it was an extra day. adding an extra day. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, thanks to them for sponsoring this video series and sending us this box. Let's dive in. There's also a little bit of clove. Sorry, I'm, a, I'm stumbling upon new things. All right, let's dive in. Clove. Clove alert. <laughs> All spice, yes. Mm. Okay, you know what? This is an interesting choice for an American whiskey because I feel like this is in the realm of what we tasted yesterday of a scotch. There is a, I think it plays well with, with scotch. I'll say that. Okay. Um, I feel, I feel that there is some rye spice going on here mm -hmm. and that it isn't quite, again, on the nose of what we're used to. I do think it's a nice lead in from yesterday. Like they mm -hmm. don't feel super disconnected. They're both bringing a little bit of heat in that's, a different way. Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm getting at. Yeah. But it, it almost feels like a stepping stone from the last one. It's pretty It's it's pretty easy. It's very, it's smooth. There's not a lot it of is. heat, at least on the first sip, that's been kicked up. Mm. I didn't really get any type of um, hug. Yeah. I think there's a lot of baking spice and barrel flavor. That's yes. what I'm mainly getting is like clove, mm -hmm. allspice type of nutmeg things, and um, that oaky <clears throat> note. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting the grains. I'm a little some yeah. grain, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. some grain on there. Um, second sip, of course, naturally. I feel like this is probably pretty often. You are getting more of the heat. Mm -hmm. uh, tongue is getting acclimated to it, but just more liquid across the tongue. It's bringing the heat. Yeah. Pepper still, also yes. cracked pep black pepper. Cracked black pepper, yes. Um, on a medium rare on steak. On a medium rare steak. 
No, it does. It does sort of lend the mouthfeel to that uh, nose that I was getting of like a medium rare steak. It is. Kinda, I think it's nice. kind of juicy. It's kind of juicy. Um, it's not real like viscous, but it's all over the tongue, all over the mouth. It's got a pretty good finish as far as length. After the second sip, it's starting to creep down a little bit now mm -hmm. into the chest. I feel like we've had this. I don't think it's a Kentucky. No. Whiskey. It, I, I don't know. It feels like, in a way, like a more northern product, if that makes mm. any sense. Like a northern rye, or maybe the rye is from the north. I don't know. It's from the north. Um, I mean, it could be, yeah, Canada is where a lot of rye yeah, comes from. Yeah, that, well, so, derp. But I don't know. I'm just getting, like, outside of Kentucky vibes. vibes. Yeah. Uh, watch it be Indiana. And then you'll be like, well, it's outside Kentucky. <laughs> So what, thoughts and feelings? Like it, don't like it? I like it. I also like it. I think it's also nice for this time of year that this baking spices with the pepper and the, the heat level is nice. I think this would be really nice Sarah, for a cocktail too. Uh oh. I, I know, I know where we've had this. Where have we had this? We've had this in Texas. You think so? Yes. I think this might- Perhaps I'm completely wrong. Might be a Texas whiskey question mark? I couldn't say. I'm getting a little Lone Star State. I don't know. Ooh, okay. <laughs> well, shall we find out? Let's find out. Yeah. But I think I would pick New York. New York. Okay. Yeah. Two but psh, different. Opposite ends. We'll yeah. see. Let's see who's right. Mm -hmm. It'll probably be you. I believe that I have this one. Uh, a fun design. Nice. And? This is, we're both wrong. <laughs> oh. Breckenridge, which is from Colorado. Colorado. I was closer geog ge geographically. I said north. It's not really, it's kind of in the middle. Um, okay, so this is Breckenridge PX Sherry Cask Finish. That must be why it felt connected That's the connector, to yesterday. the sherry. Uh, bourbon whiskey, so we've got orange, sherry, figs, caramel, spicy, fruit, vanilla, sweet, raisin. Like the spicy is just like an overall thing. I would have mm -hmm. probably drilled down I didn't really get the orange as much. Like if you look at this yeah. diagram, it kind of, I think the the size and positioning of the the notes are intended to mean like how strong mm -hmm. they perceive them to be. Sure. I would not have put orange as the biggest one. I probably would have put uh, the spice, one of the spices. I would agree. Personally, yeah. that's just how I experienced it. Hmm. Agreed. But these little diagrams are so fun. It's, yeah, these are these are really cool. Spicy, I mean, I guess in the middle of it all is spice, kind of on the ancillary, it might be that orange. Mm -hmm. Again, we did not pick up that sherry. I mean, I can understand it on the scotch. We're not used to differentiating regular but scotch and a finished Normally whiskey. I'll be like, this is finished. Well, with bourbon, yes. But but it's interesting that we didn't pick up on this and it might be because it is outside of the Kentucky bourbon, which you is what- You did say that. Yeah, is what we're, that is our, milieu or forte whatever yeah, you want to say true um but we've had breckenridge before we've had picks of breckenridge we enjoy their stuff the px sherry cast finish okay that is oh another ornament there you go <laughs> i just like to do it that's really cool that's good all right a good day too i feel good about this i one. also feel good i'm uh, like so proud of us for recognizing that there was a connection yes good job us <laughs> golf clap for it's bourbon night <laughs> Um, Cause we need more encouragement. <laughs> we do, we live on the encouragement. So, hey, um, if you guys haven't been over to uh, Flaviar's YouTube channel, we suggest that you do that. It's youtube.com slash Flaviar. Give them a sub, they got good content. Yeah. We're a subscriber, be a subscriber uh, with us. Yeah, um, and if you go to Flaviar.com, you can learn more about this bottle and the other bottles that are in the uh, 12 days of Christmas calendar. That's right, that's right. For our stuff, you know where it is. It's whiskeyambitions.com. You can become a patron at patreon.com and that's, them are, thems are our plugs. Thems are our plugs. If you're not one of our subscribers, you can click right up here to do so. There are suggestions of other videos right down here. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, let's continue this again tomorrow. Let's. Until then, drink more whiskey. I drink all night.